Assalamu alaikum all. Welcome back to the fourth episode of Lean Canvas were mentioned by Dr. Aravela Bhutto, Professor at Mehran University Institute of Science, Technology and Development. In our previous episodes, we have introduced ourselves with the concept of Lean Canvas were mentioned. And particularly in episode number three, we have seen the first component of the Lean Canvas were mentioned in more depth. We have learned three different questions that are describing or helping the academic inventors or entrepreneurs to look up to the answers for finding the real world practical problem. We have also learned the LCI checklist one, which has eight items to be considered while answering the three questions of the first component of the LCI. In today's episode, we'll move on with our journey towards certain hands-on activities that will further help the academic inventors and entrepreneurs to answer the three questions which were raised by the first component of problem identification. In fact, there are multiple hands-on activities that an academic inventor and the entrepreneur can take up in order to answer the questions of the first component of the LCI. However, in today's episode, we will only be focusing on the first hands-on activity to answer the major question of the first component of the LCI and that is, what is the real-world practical problem which an academic inventor or an entrepreneur can solve? So let us learn what is the first hands-on activity supporting the first component of the LCI. Let's have a look. This template is known as five whys. In fact, that technique is developed by a Japanese inventor and industrialist, Sakiji Toyoda. He proposed this technique to understand the root cause of the problems. And that is the exact purpose to use this technique for the first hands-on activity of the LCI. Well, it has been observed that if we do not understand the problem in depth, the solution that we will design may only treat a symptom rather than treating the problem. And if that is an issue, the invention that we are intending to bring after understanding the problem may not exactly solve the problem. So what is first required to do is to understand the problem in depth. This technique of five W's in fact connect different causes with each other. And for each of the cause, a very strong reference is required to be considered by an academic inventor. It goes in step one by one and after every step, it asks another question that why the previous problem exists. Once you get the answer for the previous problem, then the question may be raised then why the second problem occurs. And for the every stage, an academic inventor or an entrepreneur has to look up for the reasons which is causing the problems to occur. Let us understand this technique by applying an example on it. I was teaching in a PhD class where there were students from construction management discipline. And when I started to teach about the LCI, with the help of this first hands-on activity, I asked them to sit together in a team so that we do some brainstorming sessions and we try to explore what is the problem that usually occur in the construction industry. After doing a bit of discussion, we learned that mostly projects got delayed in terms of their accomplishment. And when different students were sharing different examples, we were looking and learning about different reasons that were causing those delays. The delays could be caused because of cost issue, it could be caused because of quality issue, it could be caused because of poor communication. After doing a very detailed discussion, 
amongst the students, we learn the first step or first why with the help of this hands-on activity. So the first why asked a question, why delays in multiple projects in the construction industry? And after discussion, the answer came, because it takes more time to make decisions, resultantly slowing down the routine operations. This answer was backed up with a reference which was read by those students through a research article. From this answer, the question for next why emerged and it asks why it takes more time to make decisions. After exploration, the answer came because there is poor communication between designers, consultants, clients and operation managers. We reached to this answer after doing a couple of interviews with different stakeholders, which was also a reference for this second question. The second question then led us to another question, which was, why communication between designers, consultants, clients and operations manager is poor? Then after doing a bit of exercise, we reach to an answer that there is no automated knowledge management system developed or in practice for construction industry. This fact was also endorsed by a conference discussion that was attended by one of the students in the class. This then led to another question of why and which was why there is no automation standard knowledge management system developed or in practice within the construction industry. The answer we reached after doing another interview with a stakeholder was the industry inhibitors influence and slow down the development and acceptance of the knowledge management system within the industry. It then followed up by last question which was why the industry inhibitors influence and slow down the development and acceptance of the knowledge management system within industry. So we reached to an answer that there is no standard and regulations set for knowledge sharing and for knowledge management between multiple stakeholders of the construction industry. And that was also been supported by a reference after having some conference discussions. If you see the details of all these questions that we try to answer with five bias exercise, we can start feeling that how important it was to understand the root cause of a problem. If an academic inventor starts developing an invention to solve the first why, then he or she may only come up with a list of different reasons that are causing delays in the project. But then when we see that we are gradually going down step by step to understand the root cause of that issue, now an academic inventor has to come up with an invention of a new knowledge management system in the construction industry which also need an endorsement from standards and regulations. So this calls upon a research in a new domain or in a new direction of creating or developing a knowledge management system. This we can also call as a research gap if we see more academically. And we've also seen that all of these five whys were endorsed by different references. And those references were coming either from research articles, they were coming from conference discussions, or they were coming from different stakeholder interviews. Now, as far as academic inventors are concerned, they are very good at reading research articles and visiting conferences. However, interacting of those academic inventors with the stakeholder is little less frequent. And for that, it is also realized that another hands-on activity is required which will lead or guide our academic inventors or even an entrepreneur to how to interact with these stakeholders and what questions one can raise while discussing the problems and their causes with the stakeholders. Well, that would be answered in episode 5 of the LCI. For today's episode, what we have learned 
is the first hands-on activity which is known as five whys for answering the first question of the problem identification component of the essay. With this, I would like to say thank you to you and see you in episode number five. Thank you.